Okay, so let's have a bit more of a closer look at the DFib functions that we have in ALSI. Looking at the student screen, when it's in DFib mode, there's a number of controls here. You can alter the energy by pressing these buttons up and down. You can press charge and shock. And there's also a disarm button, a sync button, and pacer function as well. Let's put this into a shockable rhythm. So let's go into a VF. So we're now into a VF. And what would usually happen is you would charge it by pressing the button here. And then you can press shock. And it gives a shock type waveform on the screen. You can alter a number of things here on the facilitator's pad as well. If you tap on options, you can alter the shock default. That's the shock number that appears when you come onto the screen. So you can reduce that down or move that up according to your local service. I'm going to put it back up to 200 joules. Great. Now let's show you how you can disarm. So we're going to charge again. Now we're going to put it into a sinus rhythm here. So we don't want to shock this. You can either disarm it by pressing the energy buttons or you can press the disarm button. And that will disarm the defib. Let's um, put the heart rate up. And we can now show the sync function. You can press on sync, and you can see these little white markers appear to show where the shock is going to occur. We can reduce the energy down. We can press charge. And to administer a synchronized shock, we need to press and hold the shock button. And the shock is delivered. Let's now go into the pace of function. We'll turn it on. And when you turn it on, a rate appears, default of 80, and an output appears. If we increase the output, we will eventually get capture. And you see some partial capture appearing here. And if we go up a couple more milliamps, we get complete capture. To alter that, you go into options, so you can alter the pacer threshold. It was at 50. If I actually now increase it up to 90, you can see we've now lost capture, and so what you'd have to do is increase the output to go above 90. If you press and hold the pause button, you can see the underlying rhythm. And that's a basic overview of many of the DFib functions that we have.